it's intrinsically an expensive pr uh, process. So egg freezing offers the opportunity to delay fertility till later in life and benefit from a younger egg. Um, I think there's some emotional and personal benefit to allow women to uh, move on with their lives, at least temporarily, uh, from, from the baby-making question. They learn about their fertility. I think that's one of the most important benefits. Even just talking to the doctor about it probably allows them to understand their fertility better. That's, those are the main benefits. The downsides are quite limited. Um, it's not dangerous. It doesn't affect future fertility, but the cost is high. And so if one uh, lowers or eliminates that one barrier, I think we have a, a very positive um, track forward. As a woman ages, the egg which has been in her body since she was a baby ages and leads to chromosomally abnormal embryos. And as a result of those chromosomally abnormal embryos, there's less healthy births. So women have to think about, or at least consider, their fertility early in their 30s uh, if they want to maximize the, ch the chance of success. That reproduction should not be a taboo topic. Women should embrace it and address it openly and get the best information. For me, it's all about educating patients. They have to make the ultimate choice uh, themselves. But if financial barriers limit their choices, it's a good thing to knock those down. I think it's a very positive move on behalf of these corporate giants, and I hope others follow.